My name is Dave here. I work at Milano Monuments, and this is a video training session on how to paint a headstone with black litho paint. Okay, I got some various things here in front of me. This is a mask that will be worn while I am painting. There is a paint gun that sits in solvent until we need to use it. Uh, when, we, when I'm about to go use it, I'm going to take it and I'm going to wipe off the solvent that is on it. I am going to take black paint here, shake it up so it mixes it around because it sits in there. Attach the spray gun to the jar. And basically that's ready to go until I set it up over until I'm ready to paint. So we're going to set it right here for the time being. Okay. Now it's important to wear gloves. So I'm going to put a couple gloves on here. Also, it's important to wear a respirator mask. Okay. Pretty simple. It's got two atta attaches around your head. Let me take my glasses off here. And it goes over your face as such. Okay. Once I got that on, I got my paint, and I'm going to go over to the headstone. And I'm going to start painting it and show you how to paint it and levels. We paint it in four directions, up, forward, backward, left, right, and once over. So that once over is like the fifth time. So yeah, so the next stage here is we're going to uh, turn on the filter system that has a filter inside here that takes up most of the fumes that go up through here and down into the filter, uh, which turns it on down here. Okay, now that is on. I did take my mask off for this part so you can hear me and I can show you that I'm going to walk over to here. I do have a stone ready to be painted black. Also, I have a order form that shows what is on the stone and what needs to be painted. It also tells me the color of the stone, which says Canadian pink. It is a 24 by 12 by 4. It also says lettering V sunk black. That tells me that everything that I need to know what needs to be done to this stone. It also tells me that if something does not match with what I have on here, that I will go to someone else to make sure that what needs to be taken care of and corrected. If not, then we go ahead and start painting. Right now we're in front of the headstone. We're gonna take an air hose here. What we're doing is we're blowing any dust out of the headstone before we paint it because there cannot be any dust inside. Then we're going to take the paint gun and it is ready to be painted. As you see the paint coming out, we go in four directions like I told you before. So we start with the design. Pretty much at a 45 degree angle. Go across the tops of the letters at that same angle. Over the design onto the left hand side. Continuing following the other lettering, working my way towards myself. At a nice even pace and speed, you don't have to overly push it in because they are going four different directions. Now that I went this way, I am going to go from left to right at the angle of this direction.
And that's the second direction. Okay. Ah. I'm going to turn the stone around. Thank you. So I can catch the other direction now. Again, 45 degree angle. Nice even flow of paint. Working with the lettering. That's the third way, and then the designs again, again at this angle. Working towards me. And because I turned the stone around, I'm still gonna work left to right because it turned it around, so now I have to go the last angle this way. Sometimes you can follow the letter. As long as you're going at the same angle and catching the angle. Now that all four ways were done, we're gonna do once over the top. Straight down basically over the letter. Same with the design. Now basically a stone is done. I did want to show you though, that you can see when I'm pushing on this lever, you don't have to push down very hard to have the paint come out. It's not pushed down real hard. You kind of get a feel for when the paint comes out. You can get an idea on that. That's more of a feel as when we're painting, you'll get an, a feel for how the paint dissipates out of the headstone. All right, as far as when we're done painting that headstone, we still have the jar and the paint gun. So we're gonna remove the paint jar, or the gun from the paint jar, and we're gonna put it back in that can of the solvent so it sits in there so it does not clog up and it actually cleans the gun over the process. So that's going back in here. Putting the cap back on the paint. And then we're done.